Hi, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to upload audio onto YouTube without a copyright strike. Now, this is very important because this is probably one of the lessons I had to learn the hard way as a small channel. And luckily, I didn't get into any serious trouble, but I'm going to show you my surefire way of making sure that you don't have to worry about any kind of audio copyright strikes. Let's get started. So if you go into your uh, YouTube studio, you're going to go ahead and you're going to see different different things. The one that you're looking for is audio library. Okay. Now you want to go ahead and click on that. And you want to go ahead and look through all the audios that they have. They have sound effects. They have uh, sorry, ones you saved. They also have free music. Now, the reason why I'm telling you to use only the, the music or sound effects from the YouTube Studio Audio Library is because this is one of the, the surefire ways that you won't get a copyright strike because it's, it's their own music. Right? They'd be a hypocrite if they, they copy, you use their, their uh, music and then they go ahead and copyright strike you. That, that's the only surefire way to protect yourself. If you have to use music, you have to use sound effects, you know, please use the audio library. Um, you know, they have plenty of sound effects and music. And the reason why I'm telling you this, would you like to learn the fundamentals of growing a new YouTube channel? If so, here's a great opportunity to learn keyword mining, AI content building, and website development with this unique YouTube course with information that you cannot find anywhere else. Sign up for it right now. This is because I learned the hard way. As I mentioned earlier, what happened to me was I went and I have a, uh, you know, a video editor, which I like to use. Okay. And it's, it's a very good video editor. However, <clears throat> if you go to music, they have a whole bunch of different music in here that you can, you can pick from. Let me just go ahead and click out uh, chill. All right. All right. So, uh, one of the I don't remember which one it was. Okay, I, I used one of this one of these uh, music and I added it to my YouTube uh, to my video and then I published it and then posted it on YouTube and then as it was going through the uploading and making sure like check to check if it was a copyright, it got flagged for copyright and audio strike because I was using what I thought was copyright free music from this library. And it wasn't, okay? So even though, the point I'm trying to make is even though there are many, many libraries out there that claim to be royalty-free, copyright-free, the truth is you don't know, okay? You really don't know until you see the license and, and, and it's not worth risking getting the strike. So, you know, take it from me. If you have to add music and you have to add sound effects, just play it safe and use what they give you. They, they they give you all of these different types, and it, it, it keeps going on. There's a lot. There's lots and lots of free music that you can pick from, and sound effects that you can pick from, without ever having to worry about a copyright strike. I mean, it's already bad enough. You have to worry about getting traffic and uh, doing video SEO, and you want all that work to go down the drain because of what? Because of uh, you know you thought you were using royalty free music and you you didn't. You know, even though wherever source outside of YouTube said it was royalty free, YouTube doesn't care. Right? YouTube has its own rules, and and that's why it's better to just use their tools. Okay, they provide it for you. Use it. That way, it's one less thing to worry about. So that's the lesson I learned when I started out this channel. I only had to learn it once, and from then on, I just use whatever they give me. And from there, I never had to worry about any kind of uh, audio copyright strike. Um, from YouTube. All right. So I hope this video was helpful. It definitely uh, saved me a lot of heartache and I just wanted to share it with you. And if it helps you out, could you please hit that like button? I'm Vince from Digital Nomad Institute and I will see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching.